Uh, no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> well, welcome back, everybody, to Crash Bandicoot 2 Some, Cortex somebody, Strikes Back and Sand Edition. So, somebody needs to help him with his <laughs> problem. <laughs> so, welcome back to yet another jet ski <laughs> level. I, it's kind of sad. Like, they have all these levels, but if we really break it down, there's only, like, four to five variants. Uh, in terms of yeah. Appearance. Yeah. Well, four or five, four or five, ty well, five or six, give or take, with uh, two or three stages of pop. But just look at that water. It looks so nice. Uh, looks I, still oh, yeah, think, I still think that Nintendo, I still think that Nintendo does the best water graphics, but this is a close second. Tell me about I it. Want this game? Oh, jeez, I oh, oh, blew ah. far to the left. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And thus is, play this game and thus is the new oval, uh, the oval hitboxes. Hitbox. Yeah, that's a bit of a trick. Well, I don't think that was the. I don't think that was an example of it. But it, yeah, it's a little tricky. Yeah, no, it's not no, quite the ex same. But example of oval uh, oval hitboxes screwing you over is that whole shit we went through in um the high road. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was tricky. But no, but, but can but can I just say that like just just to really just pour my okay. Also, uh, I'm gonna go for another timer one. Here we go. Woohoo! Can I just say that, like, once again, ow. Wait, you're not speeding this one up? Failed. Oh, that's, oh, that's no, why. Because, no, because of that. I was like, that's well, why. Would have been very, it would be kind of a little pain if I did that. Okay, now let's do Now let's do it. Actually, I don't know. I think I want to show up. Uh, no, you know what? I realize now. I don't speed up because I actually have to come back here later because I can't actually get the box gem yet. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you're just getting it out of the way, way now. Yeah, I just need to get the crystal and then get the see if I can get out of here. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, cool. So, anywho, um, at least at last, last, that's why I the call, anyway. What's anywho, the timer, so, though? That, that's just the timer, like, if you can beat the level in that time, you get another gem. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, you know what, that actually mm -hmm. Sorry. Actually, let me, let me just bring this up real quick. Um, it's with that timer, it honestly leads me, uh, it actually shows off probably one of the more dickhead, dickheaded level design in this game, and why'd you just get the crystal? Because I'm gonna get the, because I would, I, I, I don't have the time! You see, look at the timer! I this, this, part. This, this right here, that's just that's yeah. the kind of level design. If you're if you're just gonna go straight for the time time gem, yeah, because, because you're you not you're not gonna be able to avoid that. You need an Aku Aku mask. Yes. Aku Aku. And or and and like and the problem is like even like if you miss it. Why didn't you, you hit it? the box? I I'm I actually mad at you for not point. hitting the nitro box and then dying. Actually, because I had to kill. Actually, you know what? Now that I stop to think about it, since you're gonna go for the gem here anyway, it makes me wonder why you didn't bother speeding that whole thing up. Maybe because I wanted to show off how you needed the Aku Aku to get through it. Mm, there's that. But then again, you did do the whole—you technically did do the slow mo trick for when, for the first stage when you wanted to show how you avoided avoided that barrage of boxes. Yeah, that I don't know. Maybe past me was like, okay, Matt's gonna make another joke about Sonic's ass. Do you really want to hear that? Sonic's ass. I was like, I was like, you know what? You're right, me. And you're like, yes, I am right. I'm always right. Let's go into a hidden bonus stage now. Okay. I didn't know you had such vivid Fuck conversations you. with yourself. F Fuck you, know you what? dude. I'm not gonna lie. Insane. I'm not gonna lie. Now, whenever, partly because of the way Matt said, I just makes me think back to one particular scene of um, Third Rock from the Sun, where it's like uh, Mary is like going to Dick's house. She's incredibly drunk and mad at him, ah, and it's like, oops. It's like she's incredibly she drunk and mad sleep. at him, and she just goes up to him and says, I want to tell you what an ass you are! And it's like, Mary, I've been thinking, yeah, I've been thinking too, about what an ass you are! It just keeps going. I, I, so anyway, I, uh, I, I, the whole thing I get for Sonic's ass is uh, from, I think Cat Icarus did it, he used a sound clip of the angry video game nerd saying ass. And it goes like, mm -hmm. Sonic's ass! Uh, Gosh, the well, thing, I hate that you know, the more I stop to think about it, this isn't, really, this isn't really Sonic's ass game anymore. Now it's Amy's ass game. <laughs> but yeah, no, the fact that you have to do this, even... and here's the thing. The if you go, or, real quick, if, if a guy dang a moment, if you jump, if you get onto the jet ski, there's no way to get back off of it, so then you're just kind of stuck. Unless yeah. you did this ahead of time. <laughs> That's also the same problem that occurred in the. I think it was either. The, I think it was like the second of these levels where you had that. Like you had to do all those high jumps just to get to that big, big square full of boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's just a. There's just a whole lot of mess, and then there's just. And of course, we can never forget the secret passage. Yes. Okay. Again, which you could have. No, the camera's Oops. too long. Oh. You could have destroyed the green about. box and then killed yourself, but no. Done. But you know what? That yeah, is a very good. 
I was about to say, but you know what? That is indeed a very good example of what I was talking about with the nitro crates bouncing too high every now and then. That too. Anyway, we got all our crystals. Got it. Boop. So the um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but but just I, I just love this trilogy. Just an idea of like, yeah, it's not a full. It's not even the price of what most like big full games go for. But like, it just feels so great to have a chance to play these classic games again. Yeah. Like as mm -hmm. it, as almost intended as they meant to be. Sure. Sewer or, or like later. Perfect. God Sewer damn or later. it. <laughs> That's why I did, yeah. Sorry to say, Matt, but this, sorry to say, Matt, but this franchise is full of that shit. Uh, this coming from the guy who makes all the bad puns. I was about to say. Well, to be you fair, know, it's, it's, right. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a psychology, it's a psychology, it's a psychology <laughs> thing. <laughs> Normally they, have, they, they take great pleasure in doing the puns themselves, but when they get fed a pun, it, it just, it's just. Actually, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's like that. Actually, Barry, yet, Barry, yet. The thing is that. It's not so much that, it's more so the fact that he's jealous. It's like, man, that was better than the one I was about to make. <laughs> I need that material. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, fuck you all. Fuck you. Yep, I know. Oh, tell me I'm yes, we know. Yes, we know you're a salty baby. No, no. He's Does nobody you. like me? Am I just this I like not you. unlikable? I like you. I just don't like your puns. <laughs> It's a very, it's a very uh, idealistic love-hate relationship with you and well, your Well, you know what? If it makes you, if it makes you feel any better, Matt, we all have attributes that make us a little bit unlikable in some instances. Like, for example, James is kind of a kind of a jackass. Exactly. And for me, people don't like how I like to go on random tangents and sometimes in videos start tangents that I never finish. Oh, that yeah. is true. By the way, by the way, even and, though I got that gem, you know what, I don't you know have to, Oh wait, fun fact. Even though I got that gem, you don't even have to even complete that route because there's no other boxes on that route. No. Nope. So, they kind of, I feel like it's actually kind of cheap. They, it's almost like in a cheat in a way that maybe they didn't attend for that in the original Crash 2, but when they give you the gem right off the bat, you suddenly have no other investment in that path anymore. Yeah, I like, think that I think that was strict, that, I think that was strictly a developer a development oversight. Yeah, but I don't, I don't mind. Anyway, now, what were we talking about earlier? Oh, yeah, something about us all being assholes. Something about me starting. No, I said you were Sonic, the one that was. We're Sonic assholes. Well, to be well, to be fair, Steve, you kind of have a trait tra like that too. Sometimes you're kind of a fun killer. Really? How's he a fun killer? I think he. Well, I you think know, all the he, I was about to say, I think he's salty about the fact that I usually like. Oh, you know, just Not repeating the oops. Freaking. I was about to say, I think you're salty crates. about me not liking the Dr. Light voice from Mega Man 8. Not even, not even that. It's more so the matter, it's more so the matter of fact, like you get on Gui's case whenever she brings up the Jesus joke. Oh, you and mean the you walking off? And you just, you, well, at, to be fair, it's like, to be fair, it's a joke that's too, you, overdone to no end. I know All that, right. but at the same time, you just make it, you just make it seem like such a huge sin that we always make some of these redundant jokes anyway. It's like, it almost makes it seem like you just want to, want to shoot a ball. Like, just want to pull the trigger on yourself. What? He doesn't do that. How about we I'm all... Just saying, how oh. about we all stop... How about we all stop pissing on each other and just enjoy Crash? We're friends, everybody. Yep. We are? Only the best of friends We're go through friends. the worst... Only the best of friends go through the worst of shit together. Anyway, speaking of the worst of shit... Um... Well, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, then there's where we would have gone out and... Done... Come on. Come on. Back Run! away. I was about to say, you should have done that beforehand. I find it funny how in the GBA games, the metal crates do blow up. Yeah, they do blow up when you're when next to a TNT or a Nitro Grand. And I'll be, I'll be fair, too. That is a bit, bit of a weird dis discrepancy. I don't mind. I would almost prefer it. Same here. Just because, just because those things are kind of... Those things... Oh, aside from that... The only way you're going to be able to destroy them is through with a, a, a belly flop. Hey, Steve, yep. you okay? Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. I'm just giving the guys room to talk. Okay. 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 <sighs> just... Oh, we'll yay! Back Backtracking. Our... Best part of Crash. It's just, it's small. It's not like other stages. It's small. It's you. It's small. You've already taken care of most of the opposition, so you're fine there. It's worse. Like, oh, what was, what was I trying to say? It could be worse. It could be like the kind of oh god, the kind of backtracking you have to do in, like, in that one future yeah, level kind of... in Warped. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. the some of the backtracking in Warped can get really annoying. I will admit. I yeah. I, I still love Warped. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. 
I want to ask real quick about the eel. Um, how many people, whether it be in the original or the Insane Trilogy, how many people wish that you would have had the ability to just spin on the eel and it would stop electrifying, electrocuting the water? Dude, I, I fucking would wish I would. would love that. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. everybody would love that. There's certain talk oh. there's certain things that would that would make sense if we could spin into them. They just don't do that. Like like again, the, the floating oh. floors in the uh, bridge levels. Guys. God, I love her voice. I love that she doesn't sound like Jimmy Neutron anymore. Yeah. She's a pretty job. So apparently, Cortex is wanting to create a better version of the thing that made people his slaves in the first game. Yep. Uh, the Evolvo, mm -hmm. right? Time for a bear level. Time for a bear level. Bear down. Oh, he calls boy. it the Cortex Vortex. Yeah. Oh yeah, what's Cortex Almost. Vortex? Never mind. And... Right. Like, that's what he called it, but it used Dr. Embryo's... Anyway. Evolve we made it! Ba -ba we made well, okay, it! I, I would, I, okay, I would say this. First, they used the Evolver way to make the animals all big <laughs> and cool and stuff. Come and here, then doggy. they used the Cortex Vortex to, like, brain wipe them. Okay, now you're gonna need to start doing long jumps. Mm-hmm. And this was before Crash 3, where you could pretty much hold down the dash button indefinitely. Here, you, it's only in short spurts, which honestly, but I think is for the best. Basically do what I'm doing, which is, like, get into the habit of, like, doing almost... Think of it like a long jump from Mario 64. Just get into the habit of, like, doing a quick tap before some jumps. Stupid. Okay. Oh, crap. And these guys. Oh, Ooh, God. Oh, yeah. These, these guys, guys are... These guys can be a little obnoxious. Oh, uh, the ice holders. Returning. Hey, I'm trying to think. Didn't they have an equivalent ice in the Warthog oh, levels one. in the first game? Uh, enemy. 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 Kill me. You missed two. Oop. I did. That's why I killed myself. But, yeah, just going back to I those... Missed one. I was like, oh, crap. But just going back to those guys holding the ice, didn't they have some kind of variant in the Warthog levels in the first game? Uh, no, they didn't. Those were just, those were just simple tribesmen. Okay. Oh, 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 you're thinking of, you're thinking of uh, in the in the Warthog levels those the the the, um, the, roasters? the hazards that worked like that. Yeah, the ro yeah the roast the, ro the roasted warthogs on a stick. Well, that's oh, what no. I meant. Like that rotated. I meant by function, not so much by design. Oh. Uh, yes, yes, yes. They do, and honestly, I think they're honestly the more I think about it, those are those are kind of a big pain in the ass, especially the remaster, just because their hitboxes are just as janky as ever. Yeah. Well, that's Careful. kind of a problem with Crash oh. One in general. It's like, again, the end. To give the Insane Trilogy credit, it did, it did fix it. a lot of problems that wouldn't have, but at the end of the day, oh. it's still Crash One. Before you go there, get the de uh, get the gem. Mm -hmm. Now it. go back. Secret exit. Ooh. Carefully, carefully. Hey, hey, no, I'm freezing, freezing, freezing here. here. What does this do? Ah, uh, it's a secret exit. Ah, secret now we can go exit. into air crash and get the uh, get all the gems finally for that one. Yay! Maybe, maybe now we can get a better look at Cortex Castle from here. Uh, I don't think so. I, I tried looking in the background. They used in the originally they used to be here, but I could never find them in here. Oh well. It's because the portals it's just the portal the portals in general just kinda get in the way. Yeah. Mm. True. Alright, so here is the alternate exit the alternate entrance for aircraft, which you need I'm not going for those lives screw that. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a death sentence. So you need to go through this path to get all the boxes. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this and hopefully try and go for the death route as well. Mm -hmm. So I wish me luck. Uh, you know what? <laughs> okay. Something I just Good thought luck. about, um, I'm sure it probably kills a little bit of the challenge, and I'm sure it will cause a lot of people to be irked something fierce. But how do you think the Crash games would be like if the box tally, like, you know, the whole destroy a number of crates to get a gem? What if it worked more along the lines of, like, say, the collectibles and Yoshi's Willy World, where it's like, you can, as long, oh, I'm trying to say, it's like, the ones that you missed, you can still go back and get, but you don't have to go back and hit the ones that you've already hit. I don't know if that. I don't know if that, I feel I don't know that would be a little would quite work for boxes. That's I like feel. It, saying, I feel. I feel that whole thing would. I think that would be a little disorienting. It's like it's like if you were playing a Mario level and it, it, like okay, think of it like a Mario level if that same mechanic worked on the coins. Right, and these are shorter levels than the ones in Wooly World, so I think that's another that's another sticking point. Hmm. Just that, just figured I'd ask. Oh, Fair enough. But I, I see what you're going from, like 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 Banjo Tui with the notes. Yeah. Kind of like that. Three, I, three, six, I think that's probably. Three, I think that was probably a better example. I should have picked. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, I could. I could. I'm trying to think of a way that could work. Maybe, maybe if they handled the death route, like if you did it, like, 
I would prefer if, like, the death route worked, like, if you die once, but then, like, say, like, if you die past the checkpoint, then you're fine, but if you, or if you die past the checkpoint, then you're screwed, oh. but if you died before hitting the checkpoint, that should still reset. Okay, how about, fine. then, mm -hmm. go ahead. I was about to say, okay, not so much for a crash, a uh, traditional crash game like this, what if that mechanic was used for something like a Twin Sanity style crash game? That probably will be a little more appreciative, considering the, considering the fact that gems in that game are kind of a one-and-done deal. Oh, uh... And some of the puzzles you have to do are just way too based on physics, I always felt. Mm -hmm. yeah, by the way, uh, just going to say, uh, my friend and I, a few days ago, were playing uh, Crash 1, and uh, we were having a hard time getting the green gem in, uh, in that in that one level that, like, what is it? Lost Runes or something? Or Hidden yeah, I think it's lost City or something? Yeah. I'll last say that. Um, but yeah, when I, uh, when we were doing that, uh, I love this. We actually, like, hold on. Uh, oh, well, she... while, you're thinking, while you're thinking of that, I will say one uh, quick thing about the death routes I like. Uh, we may already mention I apologize. I like that if you die in a death route, you can still retry it like a bonus stage. It's yes. just if you mm -hmm. die, it's if you die before reach, if you die before entering the death route, then it turns off. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Back to you, man. So yeah, uh, with uh, with the uh, lost city and all that, uh, my friend and I were having a uh, this point. My friend and I were having a... Was she on her laptop when she butt bounced? Probably. Mm. Anyway, now we can just go right back to yeah. normal. We're having... And case in point... Oh, crap. Case in, <laughs> point, you see the, case in point, you see the death route platform up there? It was still totally there and totally Where's cool. Where's your Jesus now joke I, now? Oh, it, it's actually still there. Yeah, it's all... It, it's if you unlock the death route, then you can go back indefinitely. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Whenever you want. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Back to so you. anyway, Back to you, we're having trouble with the green gem, uh, especially her, and we're just like, uh, screw it. And she realized she had to go home and grab her, uh, she had to go home and grab her mouse for her laptop. So, Oops. so, she, uh, when she went home, I decided to try the level, and I got the green gem on my first try. And let me guess. So, so bear in I was going to say, real quick, notice what I just did there, because that actually almost screwed me over in a, in a practice recording, is that, notice that, yes, I hit the TNT crate, but because I hit the checkpoint box before those TNT crates blew up, since I died, I had to go back and double check that they had blown up again. Yeah. Because mm. it will, because the checkpoint will not, if you, if the TNT crate is in the middle of a countdown and you hit the checkpoint box, it will not store it as having blown them up. Yeah, that would be anyway. that would be really annoying in certain cases. Yeah. All right, back to you. So yeah, I was just saying that I got the. Uh, I, I just saying that I got the uh, green gem on my first try. And I take it. Although I did, I did die multiple times in the bonus level. So. Oh. Well, thankfully, it doesn't we matter it. if you die there. Exactly. That that's why there it's happening. Two gems. I see you. Okay, so there are the two gems. All done. Thank you so much for watching this part. Um, we'll see you in the, the, we'll see you next part. Extreme goodbye! <laughs> Please don't say that ever again. Night.